If you like our plum cake recipe, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get notification of our upcoming delicious recipes. Thank you one and all. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Simply Delicious. Today I am here with a recipe which is very close to my heart and that is dark plum cake. This recipe I would like to share in memory of my mom who used to bake this cake with lots of love and enthusiasm and share to everyone. This cake I am seeing from my childhood. Mom, you left us, it's a bit a month, but you'll always remain in our heart forever. Thank you mom for this amazing recipe. So let's see how to bake this amazing cake. Ingredients we will need are 5 eggs, half cup of butter, half cup of brown sugar or caster sugar, one and half cup of flour, two and half cup of black raisins or sultanas, one four teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of soda bica, one teaspoon of lemon juice, quarter piece of lemon, granulated sugar for dark trickle. And 60 ml of dark rum or brandy. For this cake, dark trickle plays a very important role as it gives dark color and flavor to the cake. You can prepare trickle previous day. For this recipe, I'll be using only 120 ml of dark trickle. Let's prepare trickle. To prepare trickle, you need only three ingredients granulated sugar, water, and lemon. In a heavy bottom pan, add half cup of granulated sugar and 1 8 cup of water that is 30 ml and boil it on a medium heat undisturbed till color changes to dark brown and start to smoke. In the meantime, boil some hot water separately for later. Be very careful while you prepare this as it will be super hot and super smoky. Make sure you keep all your windows open. As you can see, sugar has turned to dark brown and it is all smoky. At this point, lower the heat and add 1 cup of granulated sugar and half cup of hot boiling water very carefully. Then squeeze in quarter of lemon and keep simmering on lower heat. Citric acid in the lemon will stop the sugar from cooking further. Simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes on a lower heat till everything dissolves completely and then turn off the heat. As it cools down, it will get thicker. If it turns harder, correct it by just adding little hot boiling water and in the same way, if it gets too thin, then simmer it on a lower heat till you get the right consistency. Consistency should be thick pouring consistency. Once the trickle is ready, strain it and it can be used for different purposes. For this cake, I'll be using only 120 ml of trickle. If you want to keep it for longer, store it in a sterilized airtight container at room temperature and can be used for one to two months. So the next step is to chop the raisins into small pieces and take around 2-3 to three tablespoon of flour from the same measured flour. If you don't do this, there are chances when you bake the cake, all the raisins will settle at the bottom. We have to add floured raisins to the mixture at the very end in the cake batter. Next, into a mixing bowl, add room temperature butter and beat it with the help of an electric beater or whisk till the butter gets creamy. Then add brown sugar or caster sugar and beat it till it gets fluffy and creamy. Then add eggs little at a time and beat it further. At this point, sometimes batter gets curdled. Try to avoid getting curdled by whisking batter gradually and adding eggs little at a time. Next, sieve the flour and add into the batter. Then add half teaspoon of soda bica and one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. It's always good to sieve the flour before adding into the batter as there are chances of lumps remaining in the flour. Once you add flour, 
Just fold the batter gradually. Then we'll add room temperature 120 ml of dark treacle and mix it gradually, followed by lemon juice. At this point, it's good to add 60 ml of dark rum and finally raisins and combine it all together. I forgot to add 60 ml of dark rum before, so I'll be adding it at the end. Once everything is combined, our cake batter is ready. I have greased and lined 9 by 5 inch rectangle baking tin and 7 inch round baking tin. Pour just enough batter in both baking tins. As if you overfill the tins with the batter, there may be chances of cracks in the cake while baking. Level and tap the tin for distributing evenly. Preheat the oven at 150 degrees centigrade if oven is with fan, for normal oven without fan, 170 degrees centigrade. I'm using oven with fan. Once the oven is preheated and gained the temperature, place both the tins in the middle rack and bake for 45 to 55 minutes or until scriver comes out clean. Baking time depends on the size of the tin and type of the oven. After 30 minutes, as you can see, both my cakes are baking perfectly. To prevent the cake from getting burned on the top, you can place aluminum foil or butter paper on the top of the cake after 30 minutes in the oven. After 45 minutes in the oven, I'll do scriver test. As I can see, there's some batter on the tester, so I'll keep it for another 10 minutes and check it back. It took me around 55 minutes for baking and both of my cakes baked perfectly. When the cakes are still warm, I'll be sprinkling and brushing the cake with dark rum. Next day, we have to feed the cake. Poke and feed the cake by pouring and sprinkling dark rum into the cake. You have to feed the cake once in a day for at least 5 to 6 days. This will make our cake moist, rich and flavorful. And finally on the last day, before serving the cake, mix 1 to 2 teaspoon of treacle and 1 to 2 teaspoon of dark rum and mix it well and brush it on the top of the cake. This will give dark color and a glossy shine to the cake. Today is my 6th day after baking, I'll cut and see how my cake looks. As you can see, my cake looks perfect, rich, dark and you can make this cake for any occasion. Do try out this amazing cake at home and I'm sure you all will love it. And if you have tried this cake, please don't forget to give us your feedback. Do like, share, subscribe and stay tuned for more delicious recipes. Deo bare koru, animo gasu.